Hey, this is Jack Bourne, co-creator of Survey Funnel. Just want to show you in this video how to use the Lightbox feature of the uh, version two and higher plugin uh, for Survey Funnel. So I'm I'm in the area where you would add or edit a, a funnel, and so over on the right hand side we've got an area with some tabs. So the first tab should look familiar to you. This is where you would choose either all pages. A specific post or a specific page or you can actually hold down the control or command key and choose several like so but what I want to show you right now is the image tab this is where the light box magic is going to come into play now real quick before we even get into this I want to make sure that you uncheck the use cookie the reason why we want to do this is because if you've got that image there and the the cookie is set what that means is that as soon as someone sees the uh, the light box one time after they close it out then that image is just going to be a, a, a link to itself as I'll show you in just a little bit and the light box will stop to function for that particular user that's what the cookie functionality is for it's really it's really designed to be used with the tabs so you want to turn that off so that you can continue testing it so what we want to do is we want to go over here and click on browse so when you click on browse this is going to pull up the lightbox window that WordPress typically uses when you're going to either upload a new image or you're going to use one that's already in your media library so I'm going to choose one that's already in the media library and I'm just going to click show and what you want to do is you just want to simply make sure that it's full size and click insert into post when you choose insert into post it's going to end up here it's a very tiny thumbnail but you can kind of see what what image you chose and then you're going to choose save funnel okay now the next step now that you've saved that funnel is that you're going to go ahead and create a page or a post and on that page what you're going to do Actually, let me close this down. Okay, so let me go to this page. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and erase this text, and I'm going to write, here is new text for the video demo. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, insert or add media, and we're just going to go find the same image that we chose for the light box. It has to be the exact same file name. So we choose show and we're going to leave the link URL as it is. It has to be there. So do not remove, do not click the none button, do not remove it, do not edit it, keep it as it is. And we're just going to click insert into post. So when I do that, you'll notice that we have, if you're familiar with HTML, we have a simple H reference, a H reference, which is a, which is a link. So it's linking to the same image and so if someone clicks on that image it takes them to that that <coughs> excuse me that actual file now what happens behind the scenes is that the plugin looks for that specific image it looks for it because you told it in the step that I just showed you you told it look this is the image that I want to activate the light box so anytime that this code is present on a page or a post uh, inside of WordPress what it's going to do is it's going to automatically replace that with the code needed to fire the light box so let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and update the page. I'm going to click view and this will bring up the page. So here we go. It's a button and it's, it's just a very simple link but behind the scenes some extra JavaScript and some extra code has been added in there. So when I click on this we get our light box and we can answer the question. It's just a very simple demonstration light box just for for the purpose of showing you how this works. Now <clears throat> if I were to go add the same code to another page I'm gonna get the same light box in the same uh, the, you know, for the same funnel so you need to understand that a couple things number one anytime that you set up a light box with a specific image there can only be one light box per image now if you want to have uh, two different light boxes using what appears to be the same image the way that you actually are gonna do that is that you're gonna go into the dashboard and what you would do is you would you would clone uh, you would clone this, and then you, what you would do is you would change the image. So, for example, let me go ahead and do this. So, test funnel two. And so, what I would need to do now is go in and edit test funnel two, 
and when I do that I have the same trigger image so I need to change that what I would do is I would click on browse and I would go upload a new image even if it is the exact same file on my computer when it's uploaded to my server my web server through WordPress WordPress automatically changes it so there's no naming conflict and what that means is that if you um, if you just have to be very careful that you're using the correct file name um, file name for the image you can go and add this into a, a different page this is just for the purpose of creating what appears to be the, the same image it might say click me or push this button or take the survey and then it actually fires two different light boxes because it's on two different pages more often than not you're not going to even need to, to use this feature I just want to explain how it works the other thing that you need to understand is that once you've chosen to use the the trigger image for the light box um, it's you cannot use the pages so uh, just just understand that is one or the other so you cannot use the same funnel for both a tab say on you know, three pages let's say and also have it be triggered with with a light box at least in the current version of survey funnel so really it's very very simple all you're gonna do is you're gonna create a funnel just want to review real quick you're gonna create a funnel click on the image tab choose the image you want to use and then just go use that image in a page or a post making sure to not remove the link that WordPress wants to automatically attribute to the image just click the insert into post and that HTML with the with the H reference tag will go in there and uh, save it or update the page and you'll be good to go